Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, as we are seeking to complete more of the Trials of Shar. The Goddess of Shadow has a number of evaluations, you might say. The last one we did was a stealth uh, mission. We had to pick up an orb without being detected, and of course casting invisibility rendered that one pretty simple. Um, but we are knocking on the door of the next one here, interested to see what kind of intellect or uh, other type of mission we might be facing here. The self-same trial. Interesting. Alright, well, uh, I assume Shadowheart is going to want to be the one to donate blood to the bowl. That seems to be the way she likes to operate, but let's go ahead and uh, check it out. Another bowl. Bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Another trial. I need to do this same as before. Yeah, I, I don't mind. I mean, here's the th here's the th thing. The dark oh. lady teaches us that we are our okay. own worst enemy much of the time. Her embrace will elude us until we shed that which holds us back. So yeah, the fact that she's the one to donate blood to to the altar it doesn't really seem to affect who accomplishes the trial. Um, what do we have going on here? Not super obvious. Prime spot for an ambush. Oh, an ambush, huh? Who are we being ambushed by? Lazel? Shadowheart. Oh! <laughs> That's kind of clever. So, self same trial, meaning we're going to fight uh, copies of ourselves. There's Lazel. There's. Me, Penelope. Whoa, that's that's kind of wild, actually. So what we need to do for sure, uh, we're gonna go stealth because I would like us to get into a little bit of a better spot. So how how are we gonna fight ourselves? <laughs> so Shadowheart's down there. Okay, Lazel's there. Um, I'm here. Fortunately, it looks like there are reduced versions of us, so I'm not too worried. I'm going to have Lazel come us. over here. As close as she can. Okay. And then I'm going to have Will. Every step counts. Maybe come over here. Uh, yeah. He's going to get into a battle with himself over here, is the idea. Okay. Can't afford any Shadow mistakes. Heart, we will send with Will. And possibly, looks like we can maybe get the drop on Will over here, if we want to. Um, I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to have Shadow Heart... Sneak over here. Cool. So she should be in a very good position um, to do something here. And then who's left? Um, well, I me, I guess. More time. So I think the plan is that Will and Shadowheart are going to try to delay as much as possible. We're going to try to burn down this Lazelle. Or, sorry, this shadow heart as quick as possible. Uh, and then... Path lies before well, Yeah, a little bit of a pincer uh, movement. Actually, you know what? I wonder if it's... It might be better just to keep the party together in that case. I think I'm, in a, I'm rethinking that. Because I would like to kill one of the doppelgangers as quick as possible. Which means that, you know, it'll... 
be a a 4v3. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit more now that I think about it. So let's bring Lazelle over here. Basically to be right on top of this will. Cool. And actually that's... Oh, shoot. Uh, I did not mean to get involved in that. Hamstring shot on Lazelle. We can we can uh, jump in at any time. Uh, yeah, we'll repost. Okay. No one stopped me yet. All right, let's see where we are in the order. So yeah, I I broke. Um, Can't give up now. I I got detected a little bit quicker than I was hoping for. So before Will and Penelope jump into initiative, let's see what we want to do here. Sixty-five percent, huh? Where did um, the other Penelope go? She went invisible, right? She was actually fairly low on health. Yeah, she's she's must be invisible right now. Okay. We could probably burn down this will pretty quickly. So what we're going to do is jump... Here. Oh, there she is. Nice. Actually, Lazelle. Just, uh, just straight up attack. I think is what I want to do here. Cool. And then one more time. Nice. So Penelope already down. We're gonna get right here next to Will. Uh. And we're going to have Will attack himself. How's that for symbolism, huh? Only issue is it's a little bit obstructed. We need to figure out how we're going to do that. Uh, I think I'm going to have him just join combat like so. Okay, so we're, we're all part of it now. Survival is all that matters. Um, I'm worried about this Lazel doing a number on us, so I don't want to get too close. Let's see here. Sacred Flame, 91%. Yeah, we'll do the Cutting Words. Okay, that's fine. Lazel um, did what she was going to do. I could do an action surge and just straight up take Will out altogether. I'm going to save it just in case, I think. And then Penelope. Um, let's just do let's do a vicious mockery on Lazel up here. I think that's what I want to do. Cool, because I'm I'm afraid of her um, her offensive capabilities, obviously. Old person on Lazel. We're not going to counterspell. And Lazel saved it. So that was good. And they missed. Uh, let's cutting words that. Uh, let's not react. So we're going to drop our, our weapon, unfortunately. Yikes. Uh, concussive smash. Where's my health at? 37? Yikes. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, of course, Lazel is the one to worry about. <laughs> um, too dark, huh? 
That's unfortunate. Is it possible for me to circumvent? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna do a double Eldritch Blast. It's not ideal, but... Nice. Cool. 22 damage. The double hit actually is very fortuitous. Alright, top of the order. The other Shadow, other shadow Heart is gonna come here. Guiding Bolt. Totally fine. I don't really care. Alright, let's have... Huh. Yeah, let's do Guiding... Uh, or sorry, Sacred Flame here. And Lazel, I really need to get down Will ASAP. We're gonna react, and we're gonna attack again. 13 damage, okay. Good stuff. Um, anything else we want to do with Shadowheart? I'm, I'm a little bit worried about Penelope's health situation right now. Not gonna lie. But I think I'm going to save my bonus action. Is ever easy. Now, I could take another Potion of Invisibility, which means that they would attack me with disadvantage. That's a, that's a possibility. I can't use reactions because I'm dazed. Uh, oh, and I also can't heal because of the... Um, yeah, ooh. That's not great. So I'm, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Misty Step. It's once a short rest... Um, I think that, yeah, 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 yeah. Just somewhere a little bit out of harm's way. Seems like the best way. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Close at hand. I wanted to, <laughs> I didn't know I'd have to move to use Misty Step. Kind of sucks. Okay, well, I'm going to use Survival Instinct on myself. If I reach zero hit points, I heal instead of falling unconscious. So I'm going to use that on myself. All I'm trying to do is just stay alive at the moment. Try to use whole person. Ooh, that's bad. That's also bad. Ooh, a little bit lucky there. Okay, here's the thing. Will has concentration. Evil Will, I should say. Has concentration on... Hold person, and I need to shake Lazel out of it. So I'm gonna come over here to get a better angle, and then we're gonna double Eldritch Blast, hopefully force him to save. Or just straight up kill him. That's fine. So the hold person is gone. Um and that's it. Cast silence on Lazel. I really don't care, to be honest. Shield of Faith, that's fine as well. Yeah, alright. All I really care about is sort of burning down Lazel. Ooh, 18 damage. Very nice. And then Lazel should be able to attack twice. I'm going to get a little bit closer here. And again. Ooh. Should I action surge? No, I don't think I am. I don't think I will. Um, we'll do a vicious mockery on her. Saved. That's very much too bad. I'm gonna healing word myself. Oh, but I'm bone chilled, so it's not gonna work. Oh, that's one day I'll catch a break. Unfortunate. Alright, let's see what this laser is gonna do. Thunder wave? That's fine. Uh ooh, yeah, let's hellish rebuke. And we're cutting words to save. Okay. Will is going to come back with a vengeance. She's got two health left. Yeah, there we go. Man, Lazel is a monster. She is, for sure, the toughest one to take down. Okay, so all we got to get to is get Shadowheart down. Ooh, we're going to counterspell that. Oh, clearly that, did, that didn't work. Well, cool. All right, jump over here. Oh no, what happened? All right, 
I'm gonna thunder wave. All right, good concentration is broken. That that was a that was a bad misclick. That was a very bad misclick. Still breathing, despite everything. All right, another vicious mockery. And let's just run as far as we can over here. And we'll take the healing potion. This is my time. Double Eldritch, uh, Eldritch Blast. Let's see what they decide to do. Okay. All in all, not bad. Wow. Not great. Sacred Flame. Seven damage. Their Shield of Faith is broken. All right, and turn. We're going to move a little bit closer to cast Vicious Mockery. They failed. We'll step back over here to get out of the way. Double, uh, double Eldritch Blast. Guiding Bolt with Shadow Heart, that's fine. And Shield of Faith on herself again. Alright, Lazelle, just keep hacking away. We just need one of these to land. Ooh. What was that? There's something that uh, caused her to go prone. I don't know what... Oh, it was probably the adamantine armor, I'm guessing. Let's see if we can finish this with a well-placed Eldritch Blast. Sure can. Wow. Well, Lazel um, was probably inspired fighting herself. That was <laughs> she would probably tell you that that was the toughest enemy that she ever faced, right? Defeat yourself in the Gauntlet of Shars Mirror Trial. Cool. And that was a little hectic. Not gonna lie. Little hectic. Uh, Alright, Penelope, we need to pick this weapon up here. And equip it. Since we dropped it. Um, fortunately, it looks... Yeah, it looks like we actually do get another... Um, what is this? Little piece of loot here. The Killer's Sweetheart. Which is what? Executioner. When you kill a creature, your next attack roll will be a critical hit. Once spent, this effect uh, ref refreshes after a long rest. That's okay. Um... Is the the fact is that we're killing lots of creatures all the time in in you know in a single adventuring day, so consider this: we put it on Lazel. She kills something in the first fight, which she usually will do anyway. Next attack is a crit, which is awesome, but then what? You know, so I don't know. I'm probably not going to equip that unless somebody has a uh, free ring slot. Where cannot be blinded. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything I want to equip it on. Let's get going. If it was like once a short rest, I would absolutely take it, but not once a long rest. All right, people are in a bad way health-wise. Have to keep going. So we're we're gonna go ahead and heal up the squad. Um. I could take another short rest here, because Will is out of spell slots. Penelope is a little bit low on Bardic. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll do it. Why not? Short rest. There we go. We're not we're not in a rush. You know, there's no need to um, be overly conservative in our adventuring, like how long we stretch out the adventuring day. Umbral Transporter. Huh. What does that do? <laughs> oh, it takes us back to the entrance. Cool. Huh. Wonder what's up with our squad here. They're looking a little worse for wear, even though they're... Oh, wow. Cheater's Folly. Affected entity has all ability scores reduced by four for attacking a reflection that's not their own. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize that was a thing. Um, yeah, no wonder we were we were missing some of those attacks. 
I totally missed that whole um, that whole thing. So let's take off blindness. And I have removed curse as one of our possible uh, yeah. It's a level oof. It's a level three slot, which sucks. Let's get rid of Death Ward. Let's throw on Remove Curse. And we're going to have to remove it on my Zell. And then remove it on ourself. Cool. It sucks to have you to use two spell slots for that, but we would have to long rest anyway to get rid of it. How so can I go? we may as well just go ahead and bite the bullet on that one. All right, two down. Uh, I don't know how many to expect. That was really not discussed when we accepted this quest of how many trials there would be. But all in all, pretty neat. So we've had one stealth trial. We've had one... Fight yourself trial. Kill yourself, literally. <laughs> Whoa. Who was that? Were those the... The rats talking? Let's check in with them. We outnumber you. Leave me be. All right. I feel like attacking attacking the rats would be a definite trap. Like, it's clearly dangling here in front of us. Like, oh, just attack the rats. Like, how how bad could they be? They're just a bunch of little rats, and then they'll transform into some kind of monster. I bet you. Her most sacred path. Cool. All right. Off to the next one. The Faith Leap. Huh. Okay. If it's leaping, the then Lazel is the one the stains of an for sure. Ancient blood offering. All right, Shadowheart, Another I expect trial. you to volunteer. Allow me, please. to be sure of foot in even the darkest recesses of Lady Shah's embrace. I must remember where to step, and have faith that she will guide me. Huh. I must remember where to step, and have faith that she will guide me. Okay. Okay, well, first of all, it's very dark in here, so let's turn these on much as possible. Must keep going. Um, man, it is quite tough to tell what I'm supposed to do here. I see a skeleton there, so that makes me think that that's legit. Right? I don't know, man. Uh... What happens? So here's the thing. Like she's emitting light. Is there a way for me to just fly across the entire uh, <laughs> the entire map? It's kind of what I'm tempted to do. So that would probably be a, be a scroll that Penelope has, right? Scroll of fly. So let me send that to Shadowheart. Cast it on myself. Okay. And we'll enter turn-based mode. Let's see the farthest I can fly. Not that far. Ooh, there's a, is that a ladder here that I'm seeing? No, that's just the brick. Um, what if I were to go right on here on top of the skeleton? Okay.
and then step over here slightly. Everybody ends their turn. Okay. That's good. And then fly... Here, there's a skeleton right here, so presumably that's an actual platform. Okay. Cool. And then end turn. These things have stayed interesting. Okay. Nothing bad has happened. And then go ahead and... I don't know where I'm going to land. Just right in the middle of the cloud, I guess. And pick that up. Uh, dash, I guess. Cool. We got it. Nice. Uh, is the actual path going to be laid out for us? No, I guess not. Oh, I probably should have checked the... Uh, <laughs> Check this to see if these were actually useful. All right. We'll we'll still stay in turn-based combat because I don't want her fly spell to run out, and then we'll sort of reverse the way we came. I, I see that there's this like little portal that will get us back, but I'm just curious to see if the skeletons have anything on them. Oh, and a dagger. Cool. That's exactly what I wanted. And then we'll fly back to that statue again. Cool. I'm honestly not sure how you would complete this trial um, without cheating. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm for sure cheating by casting fly uh, in a way, you know. It's probably not what Char had in mind for this, but... Then again, like, we are using our resources, so why not, right? What's next? Oh, I can't reach it? Are you serious? Okay, well, whatever. I need healing. Whoa. What happened? Oh, cool. I took a bunch of damage. I'm not sure why, but... I was also inspired as well. Uh, where is that? That was Shadow Heart that was inspired. Uh, pass... No, what, what was it? Um, resurrect anyone in your party? Huh, I guess. Did we just resurrect ourselves or what? I don't know. Anyway, I think we're good. It seemed like that she died there and then came back briefly. I'm not sure what the idea was there, but we're good now. Uh, she's a little bit worse for wear, so she's going to chug a couple of these. There we go. Have a lot on my I have mind. to say, I'm really enjoying the variety that these um, trials are kind of providing. You know, it's like, uh, I, like a, I like a little bit of puzzle, um, you know, like problem solving in addition to just the, the combat as well. Oh. The rats did not like that. Um, what is this? Is this going to be like an elevator of some sort? Probably. In which case, everybody needs to get on. Alright, guys. There is work to do. There we go. Is that blood? No, never mind. Alright, everybody. I'm going to look very foolish if this is not an elevator. But it looks elevator-ish, doesn't it? Yeah, there we go. Alright, everybody join back up. And let's see, where are we supposed to go from here? Time to press ahead. I feel a little bit at a disadvantage knowing not knowing like how many trials there are? Ooh, hello. Least expected. Dark Veil Precision. When uh, obscured in shadow, bonus to ranged attacks. Sure, maybe send that to Will. Uh, 
All right. Um, let's see here. An ancient altar, a pedestal of reckoning. Oh, wow. It's dramatic. And there's one of the, the orbs. Lady Shah. So many must have toiled to make a visage so grand. It's beautiful. Huh. On the altar is an inscription. Brave the gauntlet of your Lady Shah. Surmount her trials and rise a dark justicia. The gauntlet of Shah. This place is legendary. Even with half my memories locked away, I still remember the stories. The Dark Lady's finest warriors arose from this place. Now I'm here. So is the Gauntlet of Shar different than the Trials of Shar, or let's there take a closer look. There are on the altar that look intended to house something. Another such receptacle already contains a gemstone. I mean, we have a bunch of those gemstones. I assume we just slot one on, right? In order to join Lady Shah's elite, you had to pass her trials, then make a sacrifice in her innermost sanctum. One revealed only when you've proven yourself. Very few made it that far. I've dreamed of this place. This is my destiny. I must complete the trials. Okay, so it sounds like those are the same thing. Um, what does becoming a dark justiciar imply? What does it mean? It means we'll have power. Power we can use to take on the absolute and rid ourselves of these parasites once and for all. If I become a dark justiciar, I'll have Lady Shah's highest blessing. And her arsenal at my disposal. This will be good for all of us. Let's explore. Okay. Well, the altar, we can go ahead and insert... Um, one of these umbral gems, I assume, right? Yep. Wait. Uh, what? Nothing. Nothing's wrong at all. I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, tell me. There's something more I need to do. Or the trials will have been in vain. There is a holy weapon hidden away. The Spear of Night. I have to claim it. Then use it to make a sacrifice in Lady Shah's inner sanctum. Spear of Night, okay. If I succeed, I'll become a dark justicia. So we need to go back for the weapon? Where's the, uh, where's the sphere? There's a library in this place somewhere. That's where I need to look. Okay. Um... Are you sure you want to go through this? A blood sacrifice just to appease Char? Don't worry. This place has been empty for years. The sacrifice can't be a simple mortal. More likely it's a monster. And we're well versed in dealing with those, aren't we? We I mean, need I guess. to find that spear. Okay. We will look. Uh, let's take a look at the the quest log. Uh, okay. Doesn't it's not giving us a whole lot of extra information. Well, will this teleport us to other another location? Huh. All right, we probably... Well, the library that she's talking about, is that where... Um, is it the library where we got the quest in the first place from Balthazar, or is that, is that something different? It definitely looked library-esque. Um... Some sort of magic blocking the way. Okay. That's good, right? Oh, did we come full circle? Oh, we did, I think, actually. This is where we started out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, the treasure room, we have not gone to yet. So it's possible that is 
no, no, no. Actually, the treasure room is where Balthazar... Um, yeah, that treasure is where Balthazar uh, was holding court, so to speak. So interesting. Where, I wonder, would this library be? Is it, in fact, over here where, where, Bar uh, where Balthazar is at? Um, if so... Actually, not this way. Let's go back... Let's go back this way again. And head over to the library. Um, let me go ahead and cut us over there. We'll take a quick look at the li at you know where Balthazar is sitting, to see if in fact that's where the spear is, and then we'll go from there. All right, I did not end up seeing any kind of spear, like special spear. It might be in like that treasure room that that Balthazar has, um, but we've got a whole nother like side over here that we haven't explored quite yet so it's possible that maybe we haven't even gotten to it yet or maybe it's like a reward that we get like from balthazar eventually not exactly sure um i definitely saw something just here right now <laughs> am i going crazy oh getting a little bit of a auto save here okay interesting I mean, we have seen visibility on, so theoretically we should be... They shouldn't be able to uh, sneak up on us, you know? Alright, what do we have going on here? There's a couple directions we could go. We'll go this way first, and then we can also circle back and jump onto that platform if we need to. Hmm. Plaques, broken pikes, broken shields, helmets. Wonder if this is a trap of some kind. Chambers of penance. Huh. Penance. Okay, looks like this is potentially accessible from just jumping over there, but let's just go ahead and go around. We're going to have to go into this room anyway. So oh. Blood. What the hell is happening here? What's a Merrigan? They failed a saving throw against becoming invisible. Oh. What am I looking at? Displacer beasts? Orthon's bed. Oh, are we are we jumping into the um, the the? Okay. Are we jumping into the quest to kill Raphael's enemy? Interesting. Okay. All right. Where 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 are they all? They're above us somehow. Apparently there's a lot of them here, I just don't see them. This feels like a trap. Yeah, I understand. I understand that this feels like a trap. It even says there's like there's like a traitor or something above us, but I don't see anybody here other than this displacer beast. Oh, here they are. They're standing up here on that column. Okay. What's this? Fresh entertainment. But you're too fresh for this place. Oh, I see. There's a whiff of the surface to you. A new arrival, then. You burrow too deep, little rabbit. Well, allow me to hop to it. I want to talk. I don't talk to prey. I... I think you're going to want to hear what There's I have to say. something else, almost hidden by your fear stink. Cherries. Musk. And sulfur. Raphael. I can smell him all yep. over you. You got me. Where is he? Well, he... You know Raphael? That perfume trickster swindled me. Trapped me! 
Um, I've had dealings with him. Maybe we can help each other. Where is he? Spit it out. Now! I mean, he's on the surface, which clearly you can't go, Careful. but... I'm not sure we want Raphael as an enemy. Um... Let's share our experiences. Perhaps we can help each other. That's fair. <laughs> Bargaining, are you? A Karator warlord once tried the same. I made him watch as I ate his concubines in young, then fashioned a codpiece from his skull. You can't help. It's not just walls that keep me here. Not the traps, the dark, or the creatures it hides. Something stronger holds me. A contract. Either I fulfill the contract, die trying, or forfeit my freedom. If I leave this place now, I'll become Raphael's slave. Hmm. Diabolic deals and legend always have loopholes. We just need to find it. Raphael is no That's foolish true. story devil. His mind is... different. Sneaky. Listen. Spill or the blood swarm to the night. Silence or prayers smother each right. Wonder Shah's halls hungry to slay. Leave no justice here. Alive to obey. Leave none to hear it. Then be set free. This song is your oath. Swear, swear it to me. Why would you make a deal like that? Like, I'm just confused about why we, why he would well, that engage that. that explains why all the dark justice on, from his side. Went. This yeah, song differs kidding. from others you've studied. The final couplet contains a trick, a clause not easily fulfilled. That's it. Hmm. Can I use my bardic expertise? <laughs> I always have to pick the bard option if I have the option. Um, quite bloodthirsty as lyrics go. Have you considered some instrumental accompaniment? I don't want to make it pretty. <laughs> I want to silence it. Anyway, enough prattle. The lyrics are clear. All who hear the song must die. Well, Time to die. Oh. Okay. Um. Raphael's a sly lyricist. He tricked you. Your followers heard your song and still live. I like it. And we'll take some guidance. Americans. They barely have a thought to share among themselves. But they do have ears. See? Kill yourselves. Back to the house with you. Oh, nice. We're going to thin down the crowd. Whoa. I'll take I that. Still hear it. Seems your theory is wrong. Well, uh, you're not finished yet. The Displacer can uh, hear you, can't she? That's going to be a much harder sell. <laughs> uh, let's use a luck point here, I think. Oh, no, we're definitely going to use inspiration here. Yeah, come on. We're bards. All we do is persuade. Kill Nessa. Oh, I feel Stay bad. Stay very still. My beauty. Oh no. Was that the right thing to do? I don't know. I still hear it! My dear hunter, isn't it obvious? You must kill yourself, then you'll be free. DC 21. Ooh, critical failure. We're gonna use persuasion once, or uh, inspiration once again. Really? Alright, last inspiration. Here we go. Yikes. That, I can't believe. I have spent the whole game 
passing success after success in persuasion. Maybe that's true. Maybe not. But I don't have to let you live in order to find out. Oh, man. Here we go, I guess. Level 10, huh? Okay, well... Oh, we haven't... Yeah, okay. Let's see. Well, we've got... Um, Shadowheart is radiant damage, so she's probably going to be pretty important. Let's see here. Immune to fire and poison, resistant to magic. So actually, nothing, uh, no vulnerability to radiance, surprisingly. So let's see what we want to do. This is, he's a level 10 enemy, which is higher than anything we've fought so far. So we definitely want to be very careful. Uh, let's expand this. I mean, Spirit Guardians is probably going to be the way, right? Banishment is not going to help a whole lot because, well, we need him here to fight him, you know. He's probably going to jump down, actually, uh, now that I think about it. So we may want to just sort of uh, move out of the way a bit. And then just Sacred Flame, 16%. Yeah, not going to be very much. Sometimes the only way out and then is Penelope, we're just going to come over here and hide and around move. the corner and do a vicious mockery. I'm talking. Hmm. He's a little too far. That's fine. We're just going to end our turn right here. Ooh. Invisibility, huh? Well, fortunately, I could see invisibility. Um... I'm just gonna come over here I will and hope that he comes to me, because that's all I can really do at this point. Really? So you're just gonna... Okay. Cool. I didn't realize he was just gonna try to take pot shots here. In my best interest. Well, I'm gonna send the Lazel over here. And I'm going to have her dash. And jump here. And get away from the edge. And then hopefully push him off. This is my time. And then same thing for Will. I'm just going to have him come over here. And I'm going to have him dash. And Shadowheart. I'm just going to keep down here. Again. Same with Penelope. Whoa. Oh wow, so he does that every round. Interesting. Making my move. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop a cloud of daggers right here, because I know he's here, you know? Yeah, there you are. I see you. Um and then bonus action. Do we wanna do anything? I think we're okay. Uh, what is he holding right now? He's holding a weapon. Let's see if we can do a menacing attack. I'm poisoned, so I have disadvantage, which sucks. He's frightened. That's good. And let's do a disarming attack. Uh, we won't react, so we can use an opportunity attack. Let's action surge. Now is the time. Disarming attack. And again. Okay. That was not great. Then Hunter's Mark. There we are. Okay, well now we know that he's just going to stay down there the whole time. So Shadowheart's going to come up here. And um, Spiritual Weapon. We'll do this Great Axe. Up. Where can I summon it? Here? Cool. Spiritual weapon, go. And then we'll do a 
Ooh, Sacred Flame is not very high probability. Guiding Bolt? 50%? Sure. Miss. Cool. And then Penelope, I guess we'll start making our way downtown. Um, we'll cast maybe uh, Haste. I oh, can't quite get to Lazel. Okay. What about a Vicious Mockery? 20%. Ooh. Not great. Man, what are my options here? Um, I guess we'll do this uh, Sword Song. We'll go ahead and get the buffs going. That's probably going to be the most useful thing to do. Let's see what he decides to do. Let's repost. Hmm. All right. No worries. I wonder how much damage would he take if I knocked him off? I say we find out. Um, I'm going to move over here slightly so the angle is right. Oh, only 15 damage? That's... Not a lot. If I were to jump down here, I would go prone too, right? Huh. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hopefully not get hit. I am going to shoot at him uh, from up here. Crit! Nice! Return to sender. Alright, so not a... Not a super challenging fight in the end, but of course that was very much simplified by the fact that most of his enemies were... Or his allies were um, disposed with beforehand. Hellfire Hand Crossbow. Possibly inflict burning when hitting a creature with this weapon while hiding or invisible. That's... Perfect for a Starion, of course. Uh, nice. Well, I guess we'll go through here and start the looting the room. The inner sanctum is within reach a now. bed made of corpses. Disgusting and uncomfortable. Very cool. All right, so your gear is taken care of. I guess we'll come up here. Apparently, all his uh, cronies just turned to ash up here, so they should be. Wow, look how many of them there are. That is... That is a lot. Okay. Let's have Lazel do the honors here. Pick these all up. Merrigan Halberd. Sharp teeth grow out of this halberd's dark metal, if it is indeed metal at all. Gotta love it. Well, at the very least, these will sell for... Hopefully a decent amount of uh, cash. Yeah, I I would not want to... <laughs> I would not want to try to take these guys on um, in addition to the devil. So thinning the herd was definitely preferable. Scroll of Hold Monster, Hypnotic Pattern. Let's send these all to Penelope. We may have Gale uh, learn some of those, potentially. Cool. And let's save as well. Never a dull moment. Never wanted the easy path. There's a rat sitting on the throne. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, well, I guess... Um, what do we do now? Let's check the quest log. Open the door to the inner sanctum. We've collected enough umbral gems now to gain access to the inner sanctum. Find the Spear of Night. Yeah, again, I'm not sure where that is. Um, I suppose let's continue to look over here. I don't know, is this considered the, the library or no? Hard to say. Spider meat. Wow, look at this area. A lot of rib cages. Let's see if there's anything good or if it's just bones. Yeah. 
Not surprised. Some gold and some boots of brilliance. Ooh. Restore bardic inspiration. Uh, what does that mean? I mean, obviously that's good for Penelope, but practically, what does that mean? Play your instrument to restore one of your bardic inspiration slots. Oh, that's really cool. I love that from like a role-playing perspective as well. So I think for what we'll do is we'll switch this out. Um, can't be enwebbed, entangled, or ensnared. Yeah, I think that's perfect for... That's perfect for Lazelle. And that means that she can cast Misty Step twice per long rest, right? Oh, this is once a short rest. Even better. Yeah, so her... Her, uh... <laughs> Maneuverability is going to be off the charts with that. Very neat. Let's see what the heaviest stuff we're carrying is right now. Oh yeah, this armor. Um, send it to Lazel, I guess. Cool. Let's save. And then I imagine that we're going to have to go back either to that room that had the arcane lock on it. Or we're going to have to go back to, uh, what's his name? Balthazar. And the, um, and possibly have to kill him to get the spear. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what to expect. Hanging corpse. Lovely. Um, actually, this might be the limit. I'm not sure where I would jump to from here. Okay, so let's take a look at the map. Um, I guess there's this whole area down here that we haven't uh, explored yet. Okay, so we should probably retrace our steps. Oh, down here. We could jump down here, potentially. But I don't know if that's useful. Yeah, this is a rare occasion where it looks like this little side passage doesn't really go anywhere. Alright. There's a stone door down there. Have we been down there yet? Or... Oh, maybe... Huh. How would we access that from where we are? I guess we could always cast Feather Fall and just jump down there. Yeah, I, f I feel like we have not been in that area before. Um, so why don't we do that? Uh, first, let's rally the troops. And then we'll cast Feather Fall on everybody. Um, there may be a more elegant way to get down there. All's well that ends not as bad as it could have. Oh, good. Okay, Everybody's over here. Break. All right. Let's see who might have a... Now, this would be a great place for Gale. Uh, we do have a scroll of Feather Fall. Cool. So let's throw that here. And we'll cast it, and we'll go to uh, turn-based mode. And we'll jump down here. Very cool. Uh, and turn. Lazel, you're next. Shadowheart. And then... Will. Oh. Not sure why he didn't come down here. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. No one back home will ever believe this. So what have we discovered here? 
mirror of some sort. The mirrors here seem to not reflect light, but devour it. Huh. Yeah, I really don't know how we would have accessed this area if we didn't uh, cast Featherfall, you know? Hopefully this is the library that we're looking for. Oh, this does look like a library. Uh, hold up. This is, this is exciting. This is new. Hopefully we have enough thieves tools to, um, get through everything. Uh, oil of bane, uh, battle major's power. All right, a lot of good elixirs. Silver there was magic within key. this mirror once. Consuming magic. Huh. It is shattered now. The mirror of loss. What happens if I the try to interact with it? And beyond any use. Okay. Something over there. Over where? Oh, I hate that. I'm like, I never know where to look. Okay. Mm, what's that? Oh, there's something. There are loose tiles on the floor. I see. Okay. There's probably a loose tile over here that I just completely um, missed. Uh, maybe. Actually, I'm not. Now I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what I missed. Uh, let's take a look at this. Reflections upon the Mirror of Loss. To the original purpose of the Sacred Mirror... Or no, the original purpose of the Sacred Mirror has been lost to the ages. Some suppose that it was the result of T Telemont Tanthul's attempts to delve into the Shadowfell itself in the time before his folly, the folly of his master Karsus. Others claim it only became an object of devotion after the fall of Netheril when the lost stricken survivors of the floating cities found comfort in Lady Shar's embrace. What is certain is that many of the Night Singer's faithful claim to feel some echo of her power and majesty when, uh, when in the presence of the mirror, even though it is shattered. They are often said to feel lesser once they step away from the mirror, hence the name it has become commonly known by. Our scholars continue to study it, but alas, its true nature may continue to elude us. Perhaps if the Dark Lady indulges us, she shall reveal another of these holy relics for us, so that we may feel the full power of her embrace. Wild. Let's read the plaque. I, I missed Chamber that. Chamber of Command. Chamber of Command. So it's not the library. Okay. Well, uh, with that, let's go ahead and pause here. We got a lot done this episode. We have the key. I'm not sure what the significance of that was. Maybe it opens that locked arcane door um, that we saw earlier, but either way, uh, we'll head back upstairs next time and hopefully find uh, the next passageway to whatever the relic is that we're supposed to uncover. From context, probably the Night Song at this point, right? That would kind of make a lot of sense. But uh, thanks for watching. Pretty cool uh, little social slash combat encounter with uh, Yurgil the Devil. And uh, we'll see what awaits us in the next chapter.